Welcome to Movie Speeching. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take good care. Assassination Classroom is the name of the movie. Please like and subscribe to get every update. The film begins with a giant explosion that destroys 70% of the moon, causing it to become a permanent crescent moon. Back on Earth, the Japanese army attempts to launch an attack against a mysterious creature. But unfortunately, all the soldiers were destroyed by an octopus-like monster. This monster itself is suspected of being the culprit responsible for the destruction of the moon and also plans to destroy the Earth. At Kunijigakaka Junior High School, one of Tokyo's prestigious private schools, students, especially those currently in their third year, must excel in all areas of study or they will be transferred to the remedial class is called Class 3E. Class 3E students will study in a separate building, about one kilometer from the main school building. What is surprising is that the same monster with a round yellow face, responsible for destroying the moon and planning to do the same to the earth next March, is the teacher of the students Class 3E. Tadeyami Karasuma, a representative of the Ministry of National Defense, explained that the monster's speed was unparalleled and urged the class to destroy the strange creature before next year. The creature also adds that he has made a deal with the government to teach Class 3E in order to delay his plan to destroy the Earth. To destroy it, students must use bullets and weapons specially designed by the Ministry of Defense, which are harmless to humans but deadly to the yellow creature. Before leaving, Karasuma mentioned that the reward for a successful assassination would be 10 billion yen, which encouraged all the students. To help the students, Irina, a skilled assassin, was also hired to kill the creature, but she failed. Since then, Irina has also worked part-time to become an English teacher for the children. After that, the class was officially named Assassination Classroom. Nagisa is the main character of the movie. Despite his passive and shy personality, he is a very observant person. He tends to pay attention to his new teacher to understand his motivations and compile all the information into his notes for reference. The first murder occurred while the yellow creature was teaching class. Armed with a knife and a bomb strapped to Nagisa, he approached his teacher to submit his homework and suddenly his friend detonated the bomb, nearly killing Nagisa himself. But unfortunately, the plan failed when the teacher avoided the explosion. Not only that, this failed attempt also made the teacher angry because she almost killed one of her students. He threatens to kill everyone close to the students if they do such stupid things again. Since the creature seems unkillable and he's also a teacher, the class decides to call him Korosensei. Despite being fully aware that he is the main target of the assassination, Korosensei still manages to bond with Class 3, who in turn view him as their indispensable teacher. During the semester, Karma Akabane, who was previously a Class A student and was recently suspended for defending a former Class 3E e student from bullying, joined the class. He is a very smart student because he tricked Korosensei when he first met him. Despite her excellent academic performance, Karma appears arrogant and overconfident. Korosensei then tries to correct his bad attitude in many ways. After class, Korosensei approached Karma and Nagisa. Karma asked if the professor would risk his life to protect one of his students and challenged him to do so, but actually his plan was to put Korosensei at his weak point and then try to kill him. Karma suddenly jumped down from the hill while pointing his gun at the professor, but somehow Korosensei was able to save his student thanks to his unlimited and very elastic tentacles. Even though his plan failed, Karma did not give up and told the creature that one day he would kill him. Since Karasuma's strategy is not making progress, his supervisor decides to send a transfer student to Class 3E to destroy the creature. It is an AI installed in a box, called Ritsu. Ritsu was programmed to target only Korosensei and was equipped with many advanced military weapons, but the professor dodged all the bullets. Ritsu's appearance upsets the students as he continues to shoot while class is in progress, even having to pick up the bullets afterwards. For this reason, the students decided to lock him up with duct tape and chains. One day, Korosensei approached Ritsu and gave him some advice to encourage him to cooperate with other students. Korosensei then gave Ritsu some data for the AI to learn from. The next day, Ritsu is now able to show certain expressions. She is also creating a phone app to deepen her friendships with students. When class was about to start, out of nowhere, a strange child named Itona burst into the classroom. He claims he is stronger than Korosensei and challenges Korosensei to a duel after school. It turns out Itona also has tentacles as her main weapon. Upon seeing the tentacles, Korosensei became very angry and asked Itona where the tentacles came from. But Itona ignored Korosensei and continued to attack. He almost killed Korosensei and cornered Korosensei. 
but Korosensei defeated the kid with the same weapon the student was using and threw him out of the classroom. Itona is then carried out of school by her tutor dressed in white after losing the match. After class, Korosensei was asked by his students about the real purpose of teaching. He replied that he did this to keep a promise to someone. To get closer to his students, Korosensei organizes an assassination training camp where he uses his mechanical speed to teach each student individually with targeted review of their worst subjects. There, one night, Korosensei sneaked into the girls' room and was forced by the students to share his love story, but then he dodged the question and ran away. Moments later, Karasuma's role was replaced by Takaaka, an experienced P-focused drill inspector, as he was not progressing at all in the assassination mission. At first, Takaaka seemed very happy and cared a lot about his students. But Irina tries to dig deeper into Takaaka's background and discovers that he is a very violent person. The real Takaaka appears when he abuses one of his students. Karasuma tries to stop him from doing something worse to the students, but Takaaka challenges one of the students to a duel. Karasuma sees Nagisa's assassination talent and asks him to fight the rude instructor. With calm and unpredictable movements, he defeated Takaaka. Because Nagisa won, the instructor had to leave the school embarrassed. The next day, one of the students, Okuda, gave Korosensei a poison, which later turned out to be sodium hydroxide, and asked him to drink it. Instead of killing him, the poison only increased Korosensei's power because it stimulated his cells. Korosensei then continued his lesson, but suddenly the students asked him why they had to study if they could earn 10 billion yen by killing him. Korosensei then gathered all of his students, including Irina and Karasuma, on the field to cheer them up. He explains that a confident assassin will always have a backup plan that he can rely on. This redemption signifies the lesson the students learned for the future they would have had, had they not been the one to kill Korosensei. Korosensei also demonstrates his ability to steal military equipment, telling the students that they must be excellent at everything to become excellent assassins, and kills him. The final exams are approaching and to motivate his students to get excellent grades, Korosensei promises that the best students in the five subjects will have the opportunity to cut off his teacher's tentacles, which will slow him down significantly, which means he can potentially kill him. Increase. Since then, with his maximum speed capabilities, Korosensei gives his students a live learning experience by taking them to places where they can learn certain subjects in person. Final exam results are announced. Nakamura, Okuda, and Karma achieved the highest scores in English, science, and mathematics. In addition, three other students also excelled in home economics. Thus, the six students will have the opportunity to destroy Korosensei's tentacles. One of the students suggested planning an assassination during summer vacation and the whole class agreed. The students make some preparations to ensure the assassination will be successful with the right strategy. The day of execution has arrived. Finally, they tied up Korosensei and began their attack. Thanks to Nagisa's observations, the class discovers that one of Korosensei's weaknesses is water and turns the arena into a water park. In the final attack, the two students delivered the final blow, causing Korosensei to suddenly explode. However, Korosensei turns into a ball, which is his absolute form, to avoid being killed. Suddenly, Takaaka and his classmates confront Class 3E, claiming to be the culprit who poisoned many students. Takaaka offers to exchange the antidote for Korosensei. Nagisa and Karma team up to protect Korosensei from Itona, who is now working for Takaaka, while the other students try to find a cure for the poisoned students. Nagisa and Karma are no match for Itona's power as they try to defeat him. But suddenly, as expected, a heavy rain came, weakening the power of Itona's tentacles. The battle ends, Nagisa cuts off Itona's tentacles. Unfortunately, they are informed by Ritsu that Takaaka kidnapped one of the students and threatened to kill her. Thanks to Nagisa's cleverness, they fooled Takaaka with a foul and the students turned the table over, punishing Takaaka and his teammates with their own weapons. At the end of the movie, Korosensei is taken to the military zone. Realizing Korosensei's vulnerability, the government carried out a public execution in front of his grieving students. Before being executed, Korosensei spoke his last words, saying that his students had shown very good progress during the semester. However, killing Korosensei is not simple. He managed to survive the execution and was allowed to continue teaching Class 3E for the second semester, making Class 3E once again an assassination class with Itona now permanently enrolled. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.